Colleagues, can I introduce my next speaker, which is Mary Senior from the UCU. And thank you for the invitation for, for, to the University and College Union to speak at your strike rally today. UCU is proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with our PCS comrades north and south of the border. Indeed, when university lecturers took national strike action in defence of their pensions uh, earlier this year in March, we were absolutely heartened by the solidarity and support that was shown to our members by PCS at that time then. And today, UCU's members in the Teachers' Pension Scheme, that is lecturers in colleges and post-92 universities in England and Wales, they're joining PCS, taking strike action right now today in defence of their pensions against the condemn attacks. <laughs> Colleagues, we're all fighting the same battle in a war when the UK government and the employers are racing to the bottom to see who can make the deepest cuts, slash the most services, cut pay, cut more jobs and decimate our pensions. Whether it's in job centres, in universities, in schools or in local government, the effect is the same. A wholesale attack on the public sector, on public servants and the essential and valued services that people depend upon. And make no mistake comrades, this is all part of the condemns ideological attack on public services, the workers, the public sector pay, pensions and conditions. And politicians across the board, Tory, Labour and Nationalist, are criticising the action you're taking today. It's hardly surprising when we hear that it's MPs who come out best in the public sector pension stakes. And as Lynn said earlier on, many of them are today happily crossing your picket lines. Ed Miliband says it's business as usual for him today. Uh, well, that is, it's business as usual for his pension scheme, not ours. These people should treat us with the respect that we deserve and not the contempt that they're doing so by crossing our picket lines. We hear all too many myths and lies on gold-plated public sector pensions. We all know that it's a small minority with a gold-plated public sector pension. These are the university principals, the chief executives and the MPs. But of course we're all in this together, comrades. And don't be fooled by those who say you're striking too early. UCU's campaigning and strike action on university pensions earlier this year won some concessions, but it was not enough to stop the employers from imposing their cut price two-tier pension scheme on lecturers in universities up and down this country. It's never too early to defend hard-won pension rights. UCU is currently balloting all of its members in the pre-92 universities for more action. Only sustained industrial action will bring the employers to their senses and save our pension scheme. We know that you'll be right behind us in our fight for a fair pension just as we're with you now. We know that by working together, by coordinating our action, we can win this fight. Pensions are deferred pay. We've worked hard for them. They are ours by rights. We cannot allow the condemns, the Scottish Government or the fat cat university employers to get away with their slash and burn approach. So colleagues, congratulations on your action today. This is a fight that we have to win, not just for the members that are here today, not just for the people across Scotland, but for all of those workers that come after us. Good luck in your fight. Thank you.